performance. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I would like to invite Sarah Fung to the podium to give our valedictorians address. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be able to stand before the famous class of 2017 as your valedictorian. First off, I'd like to kick off this farewell by directing our applause and appreciation towards those who deserve it most. Our friends, the ones that came and the went, and the ones that are still standing with us today. You have a piece of us. Of course, most of the friendships and connections we've made throughout the years may be coming to an end soon, but as the famous saying goes, we enter our lives for a season, a reason, or a lifetime, and we all fall under different categories. Thank you for your support, the long nights spent on the phone, the tears, and the memories. Heck, I've even had my fair share of memories. I remember this one night, my friends and I were just ugly crying in the car because we were just scared of adulthood. To the amazing teachers, the faculties, the counselors, and even the office ladies at Santiago High School, they've always shown an unwavering sense of compassion. From all those tricky math tests, last minute essays we wrote in three hours, even though we were given two weeks for them, <laughs> and our amusing admins. From those last minute transcript requests for CSF, NHS, and more, to the crowded guidance counselors that made you, office that made you wonder, why didn't my counselor call me in along with 10 other kids? Finally, thank you to all those families out there that supported us through thick and thin and helped shape us into the very people we are today. The majority of our parents were immigrants from countries that weren't as promising as the U.S. And they traveled here through tough circumstances, endeavored language barriers, embraced the shame and taboo that came from being an immigrant. While we may have the opportunity to move away from our families, and perhaps have even taken them, our parents weren't given a choice. Thank you for your sacrifices. I'd also like to personally thank my family as well. Without you guys, I wouldn't be the person I am today. So thanks for always pushing me towards being the best and never settling for less. In retrospect, four years flew by with a snap of my fingers. So that an event this momentous does not pass by unnoticed, it's crucial to take a step back on these, and reflect on these past few years, the person you are today, and the people surrounding you. We have some amazing individuals among us tonight. We have up to, yes, six salutatorians, Anna, Edith, Jackie, Lisa, Newton, and Vicky. I guess our, I guess our staff just couldn't decide between all of them. I'm truly proud to have been a Santiago Cavalier for four years. Typically, we're considered the rowdy ones in the district. However, despite these notions, I wouldn't have traded Santiago for anywhere else. Never have I met such a compassionate class with a kind, benevolent bunch of individuals. Our class has taught me to never judge oneself by their appearance or their backstories. From a ruffian that turned their lives away around to even the most ambitious of people that realize that sometimes it's okay to take a step back and breathe. This wide array of livelihoods and personalities has allowed for me to grow in ways I couldn't have had I gone somewhere else. I want to say thank you. This goes for a lot of you as well. We're at the prime of our youth and ready for growth. Our actions and decisions will become defining. We'll be thrust into adulthood and everlasting amounts of responsibilities and arduous hardships. A couple of years ago, perhaps even just months ago, had we opened our mouths and voiced our opinions, we would have been shut down with a shroud of discouragement. In a couple of years from now, we will be busied by our careers, our families, and every other aspect that prevents us from taking risks. But now, as we embark on whatever journey we're heading towards, whether it's to travel, college, work, our voices are at the dawn of their existence. Now is the time to explore the world like it's a putty in your hands, to meet new people, to see uh, the world and eyes foreign to your own, and to experience life in its rawest forms. Find yourself in an array of people also trying to figure things out. Your likes, dislikes, the things that push your buttons, and everything that makes you, well, you. Take that spontaneous to God knows where. Hit up that person you've been too shy to talk to. Do something with yourself that the you in 10 years will look back and laugh. What I'm trying to say is, well, we're at the stage in our lives where we're finally able to break out of this mold we're all You know? As individuals, of course you'll grow. 
you'll get into this and that and realize you're just not the same person you were three years ago, maybe even three months ago. You'll go through bouts of self-doubt and maybe an identity crisis a couple of times along the way. At least you can't doubt that. But the thing is, it's not merely a time of change and flourishment for yourself. This is your opportunity to change the world, the people around you, and the things around you. Find your passion, your will to live. Find that driving force that makes you wake up in the morning feeling revitalized, feeling as though you have a purpose. Something that gives you the solid mentality of, as long as I have this, I can do it. And maybe it's not even a something, maybe it's a someone, who knows? Whether it's providing for your family, traveling to third world countries and building schools, or maybe it's just playing your heart out on the guitar. My personal favorite is advocating for the environment and sustainability. But that's another tangent for another day. I want to remind you, however, that ultimately the earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. Life, while the longest thing will ever technically do, still manages to fly by within a blink of an eye. It's too short to live your life without making a positive change and fighting for something you believe in. And maybe, just maybe right now isn't that defining moment in your life. Maybe there's much more to come. Maybe you'll embark on your journey when you're 50 and you're having a midlife crisis. Maybe you'll be 70 and your grandkids will want to take you somewhere. Maybe you'll meet the love of your life in a random cafe somewhere on this earth and things will fall together. But those are maybe. Now, now at this moment, this is your call to action. We did it. I want to leave you off with a final quote proclaimed in the cinema masterpiece, One Tree Hill, one day you're 17 and you're planning for someday. And then quietly, without you ever really noticing, someday is today, and someday is yesterday, and this is your life. Class of 2017, you're now the class of 2021.